Hey Heights family, you ever had one of those situations in life where somebody you love, I mean, not just love or care about, but somebody you really love deeply is making bad choices. I mean, they're making choices that it's like watching a car accident in slow motion because you know what's about to happen to them. You can see it because either you've done it yourself or you just know the natural consequences of what it is that they're actually about to experience. And it's hard, right? I mean, it's, it is. Like, it's one of those situations where from the outside, you just wanna go and rescue them and you wanna stop them from putting their hand on the hot stove or you wanna stop them and you wanna turn the wheel from the cars that are smashing into each other. Oh, but friends, I pray like crazy for them. I pour out my heart to God for them. Truth is this, is I've simply had this situation happen recently where people I love have made some decisions that are harming them. And I come to this own personal crossroad where I've got to deal with something. See, and we're in the thread, renew. God makes all things new and renewal. And here's what I know in the midst of all this. I've got to anchor my heart to the right place. I've got to anchor it to him because no amount of worry that I have for these people that I love will transform them. And I have a, a duty to my own faith to remain faithful, to persevere, to be courageous, to be a prayer warrior for them to weep before God for the people that I love. And I want to share this verse because as I was wrestling with this situation the other night, as I was grieving the person that I loved, actually, it's not just one, it's multiple. God said this to me and he reminded me of this. And I want to share it with you because it's so powerful. I wait, it's Psalm 62. It says this, I wait quietly before God. For my victory comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will never be shaken. See, I got to run to him. I can't change people around me. I want to, wish I could, but I can't. I have to accept that I'm powerless to change them. And I have to come back to the source of life that gives me hope because I need Jesus to renew my strength daily. I know that's why you're here. You're in watching these Summit Up Devos because you recognize the value of renewing something in your soul daily. And so here is my encouragement and my challenge to you, church is whether the times are good or whether you're in a moment like me where you are grieving somebody you love to renew your heart and your connection with Christ. Renew it and make it ongoing where Paul talks about it being a daily action. I do it all the time. I pray without ceasing. I'm constantly talking to God, when they come up in my mind, when my thoughts begin to stray towards them, I lift them up and I present them to God. God, they're here in my thoughts again. And I pray that you do what only you can do in their life. Only you can bring real transformation and real renewal for them. It's my encouragement to you, church. Is renew your own heart. Renew your courage with all this world is screaming at us, wait patiently for the Lord because he is our hope and he is our salvation. I love you, church. Thanks so much for joining me. God bless you. Have a great day.